Now that you have both of your templates, your kid template and your teacher template, we need to create a badge. Remember, we create badges in the teacher template and kids claim badges in the kid template. Down here at the bottom, there's lots of tabs that we like to call buckets. So you'll see math, literacy, technology. These can be whatever you want. You can rename these and it's not gonna affect anything. We put some default ones in there and then just added some generic numbers down here if you would like to uh, rename those. So feel free to rename them to whatever you want. But pretend we were gonna create a math badge. There's a lot here that we need to fill out. So the first thing that you wanna fill out is a code. And a code can be any combination of letters and numbers and caps, uh, doesn't matter. So it can be uppercase or lowercase. So as an example, I can do uh, MTHX197 for this code. I just made that up, but it could make more sense to you. Th the point is we don't necessarily want kids to be able to just to guess what it is. The mission allows you to be more specific. So this is uh, a math bucket, but I could say this is a discussion mission where kids have to talk about their uh, math discussion in order to, to earn a badge. The grade just allows you to select what age. We recommend uh, being very specific if it's specific for your grade level or if you feel like it could be a range, go ahead and type that in. So I'm gonna say this is third through sixth grade for this badge. A level can be on a scale of one to 10. Think of one being super easy to get and 10 being incredibly difficult. I'm gonna give this a level five, which is somewhere in between. And every level has different amounts of experience points that you can earn. And we'll talk a little bit about levels and experience points here in a second. After a minute, you'll see that experience points are calculated based on the level that you select. So if I selected a level one badge, it's only worth five experience points. And a level 10, is worth a lot more. And remember, sometimes this can take a second because the formulas are calculating. But now you can see it's worth 50 experience points. So we're gonna give this a five. And then I got to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one first math discussion because we're going to make this very easy, not super complicated. And requirements are really important. This is, needs to be very detailed so kids know what specifically they need to do to earn a badge. So I'm going to say do a turn and talk with a partner, agree disagree, and why, just as a basic requirement to earn the badge. Now the URL part is where we're going to put in our badge image. So make sure you watch the video on how to create a badge using Google Drawings, and then how to add that image URL in here for your badge.